video is dedicated to our Indian brothers and sisters who are familiar with Vidyut, who is a great looking dude. I wish I had some of his features. <music> Greetings, Mitrand! Gregory von Lebestag here. We're all about kettlebells, so if you are into kettlebells, then like the video and consider subscribing. And if you know anyone that I should react to, let me know down in the comments. So the video starts off with <laughs> normal. It's boring. Well, I do understand it from a certain perspective. If you do the same exercise all over again, it may fog your brain. Yet, you have to understand, there are basics in the numbers. Clean, swing, press, squat, jerk, long cycle, whatever have you, powerful exercises that give you the most bang for your buck. And you can cycle between these exercises. Now, this video is called Vidyut's Kettlebell Circus. Let's see what kind of circus that is. So here we go. Vidyut, my main man. Yeah. Solid. Look at the form, man. He looks great. He looks great. And he's handsome. And here you got it. Get your kettle on. Let's do this. Okay, warm up. So here we go. We have a hang deadlift. Yeah. And and a press. Still the warm-up of the circus. Oh, interesting. I've seen this many times that people switch sides like this, but I would rather recommend to switch sides with a hand-to-hand -hand swing. You rack the weight, bring it down into the back swing, then safely switch to the other side. You will definitely feel it if you opt in for heavier weights. He's going so fast, and boom, the back flip, the back flip. <laughs> He's going fast. Vidyu, my brother, you're too fast, you're too fast. Give me a second. You clean the weight up into the rack position, make sure your arm is close to your body. If you clean it outside like that, if you have heavier weights, it may be detrimental to your shoulder. Always remember, you want to follow the medial line, the middle line, when you work with kettlebells, especially the ballistic exercises. And you can do this, of course, with the palm facing forwards. What we love to do is thumbs back so that you have arm fully extended, biceps close to the ear, pull your shoulder back a little, and then thumbs pointing back so you can rack the kettlebell on your frame instead of on your muscle different countries different cultures so my indian brothers and sisters you have to let me know is this style in india i mean he has the body to show it off but i'm not sure if i would ever walk around with a crop top i think that's something that's reserved for the ladies but hey you have to fill me in on that one so let's talk about the swing before we talk about the juggling when you are swinging the weight make sure you don't hinge too early if you hinge too early before your arm is able to reconnect with your body then your lower back is taking the brunt of the weight and you don't feel as comfortable with the kettlebell and make sure you don't go too deep you want to be fairly tight with your body i mean the hinge is is solid maybe the knees are bent a little bit too much you know complaining on a high level that's why we always want to make sure that we have a solid hinge when you start swinging maybe this happens to you as well watch this boom you see this the kettlebell flips and it touches your butt. You can combat this by improving your timing. And the second aspect is making sure that you let the bell travel enough space backwards before you bring it up. Why is that? When the kettlebell goes into the backswing, what happens is you're building up elastic energy in your posterior chain, in your hamstrings and your glutes which is great yet you want to melt with the kettlebell give it enough space because it travels back and once it it reaches its apex where it wants to travel forward again this is when you engage with full extension extending hip and knees to send the kettlebell flying so if you miss the timing and you leave the backswing phase of the swing too early this is what happens. So now let's talk about juggling. Juggling has been a staple of kettlebell training for ages. It's actually probably how kettlebell training even emerged. Especially when we talk about power juggling, where you use heavier kettlebells. So it is a form of kettlebell training, yet it is advanced. Now this, he calls an alternating hand transfer. You see the folks who juggle weights, he does it a little bit different, but you see the people who juggle kettlebells 
they use this hand transfer to engage in their choreography. This is a staple of modern kettlebell juggling. Take chances and play, but be careful. Be careful. Yeah, this behind the back. This is tricky. This is tricky. Ooh, but he got it. Yeah, and this... <laughs> Yeah, so he, he probably watched a lot of juggling videos. So let's talk about Vidyut's technique. Now, when it comes to juggling, you can just have fun with it. My recommendation would be, you wanna start by perfecting a swing and a clean, the ballistic basic elements of kettlebell training first before you start juggling. And you can see that Vidyut's probably not as proficient with kettlebells or he didn't engage in a lot of reps. Hence, you see some form issues in the swing. He calls it a circus, which is the truth, because we have to acknowledge that back in the days, around the 18th and now 19th century, this is when strongmen and physical culturists started engaging in cafes, theaters, and circuses, performing these feats of strength. And then they started using these spherical type shaped weights, which we now call kettlebells, and they started power juggling. So power juggling is a staple of kettlebell training, and we have to acknowledge it. And from there, it slowly developed into what it is today. So Vidyu, thank you for bringing attention to the kettlebell and bringing attention to the physical culture. It's from back in the day. It is part of training. It is part of the kettlebell, and it may serve you some unique benefits. Yet, like I pointed out, master the fundamentals, First. 90 Days of Kettlebells is an online workout course for beginners who want to train at home, lose weight, and achieve lasting results without wasting time and money with crash diets and unused gym memberships. The program works as follows. You will do three kettlebell workouts per week that gradually increase in difficulty. You'll also build three powerful eating habits that have proven successful in our coaching. As the name implies, the program lasts 90 days and you will have lifelong access after purchase. We also include live accountability sessions where you will publicly state your goals. Psychology shows us that if we make our goals public, our adherence to the process and the program increases dramatically. If you have been struggling to put together an elaborate kettlebell workout system while trying to lose weight, then 90 days of kettlebells is for you. The price of 90 days of kettlebells is 59 US dollars per month for three months and you can save 20% with a one-time payment of 147 US dollars. We'll open registration only to a small number of new clients. Join the waiting list now to get access 24 hours before the general public. Link is in the description.